All right, so here we got Bitcoin on Bybit, only one hour. Um, so as you can see here, we did uh, break back into that range, made a new high above these last highs, came back down for the retest of the bottom of the range in 200, resumption off. Your RSI is in the neutral median zone as of now above that signal line. Uh, we need to stay above 2123 in order to stay above that signal line. So, I mean, we're kind of right on the line right now. Um, but, let's see here. Uh, see if we have any divergences. Okay, so we did have bearish divergence, but that brought us down, so I think that move is already over. That's what this down move was. Your MACD uh, looks like it's trying to get a fresh cross to the upside. If it can continue that cross um, and stay above 21.18, continued rising above then that'll look pretty good we are printing a dark green bar on the histogram your vol seems to be heading down a bit as the price action was going down so if that vol can turn back around as the price action is going up that's going to look good your bbwp is below the moving average but that moving average is coming down so i mean we could we could consolidate here for a second um you know possibly I mean, I don't really want to see a lower high, though. Uh, so, honestly, in, in the bullish case, you would want to keep going up and break this last high at uh, 24.50. And But we'll see. We're having some trouble getting above this VPVR level right now at uh, 22.58. <clears throat> so, 22.60 region. Uh, but we'll find out. Your moving averages, your 50 did cross 200. 21 bounced off of the 200. Looks like your 100 is working its way up to the 200. Um, so if your 100 can cross that 200 and all these moving averages start to fan out, that's when I think we go to the top of this range at 21,700. <clears throat> if we can break this last high at the uh, 20, you know, 450 region, uh, I think we do go up here at the 21,700 region. Um, and those are my thoughts uh, for the bullish case. That would also imply that the RSI gets works its way up to the uh, bottom of the bearish bullish control zone the macd would continue its cross to the upside and not just be a retest and get back above this last high on the macd line uh, and continue to print sharp dark green bars on the histogram as your vol would turn around your bbwp would turn around and cross that moving average to the upside so that'd be a bullish case that would lead us up to 21700 we break that level we'll come back and talk about it uh bearish case for bitcoin is that we break back down out of the bottom of this range and break the 200 on a one hour closure it basically honestly i would even say the 100 if we break the 100 on a one hour closure at 19 basically 500 550 so we'll, e we'll even say uh 19 <clears throat> We break that on a closure, break below that 100, uh, not going to look good. Uh, that would also imply that your RSI crosses this signal line to the downside and gets below the neutral median line. If that happens, I think we would get a small bounce on the RSI at the top of the bearish control zone. Honestly, I think we would enter into it. That would also imply that the MACD gets a retest from here and a resumption down. And this dark green bar just turns into a uh, dark red bar. On the histogram uh, so we will find out soon which way this will probably go so it's either I mean it's either you break down to the bottom of the range yeah I you know we could get a wick down here but honestly if we break this last low in the 200 at 19700 <clears throat> that's when I think we come down to this POC point of control in the VPVR at basically 19222 uh, and honestly I don't think it would stop there so it's pretty clear cut. You break the last low, uh, probably down to 19,000. Break the last high, probably up to 21,700. Uh, yeah, those are my thoughts for Bitcoin. Uh, if you guys are liking this video so far, like and subscribe to the channel. Check out the links in the description below, one being the Discord. A lot of good conversation about trading and investing there. Uh, there's also some uh, shill links. For different exchanges good exchanges 
a lot of exchanges are having issues right now. Um, so it's good to have multiple exchanges um, so that if one exchange does have a problem, you can still move your money or crypto in and out. That's why I have multiple exchanges. I probably use f five or six different ones and just have the accounts, you know, and uh, you get free crypto if you sign up with the affiliate links. So do I. All uh, full disclosure, but so do you. So let's move on to Ethereum. All right, so Ethereum, pretty similar story, except that it looks like we could be forming an ascending triangle. So we'll find out whether that plays out or not. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete it now to... Oh, hold on. Check this out. So the measured move of this would lead us right up to this purple region. So if Bitcoin breaks out, I mean, and this kind of goes with the bullish case of Bitcoin. You know, if Bitcoin breaks out, you know, 1260 is the next target. Uh, your RSI is in the neutral median zone above the signal line. Did get you did come down, tested the uh, top of the bearish control zone, front ran it a bit, but once you cross back above that neutral median line, that's when you add enough uh, momentum to get back above that signal line. Um, MACD fresh cross to the upside, two dark green bars on the histogram, so we do have one full tick of a cross. Uh, BBWP is below the moving average in the lower zone, so I mean we could get a little more consolidation here. But as long as we don't break this 21 in this diagonal trend line right here, we're in good shape. We break down, fall below this 50, that's another story. So we'll go over the bullish case. The bullish case is that this is an ascending triangle and that we break out. So if we break this last high, uh, this last closing high is what I want to see. Because right now we do have a lower high. We have a higher low, but we have a lower high. So we need to break this last high at basically 1165. If we can do that, break out of this, I mean, I think this is going to happen pretty quick, 1260. Um, and that would also imply that the RSI gets to the bottom of the bear, uh, bullish control zone, probably going to enter it if we do test the bottom. Um, that, that would happen at the same time as us getting to the top of the ascending triangle. Um, so if we break that, we would enter into the bullish control zone. MACD, I would like to see strong upside curvature get us back above this last high on the MACD line. And continue printing sharp dark green bars on the histogram as your BBWP turns around, gets back into the upper zone, works its way back up to the moving average. <coughs> Excuse me. And the bearish case. Bearish case, like I was saying, is if we break this 50. We break this 50 at 11.20. I'd even say, yeah, 11.18. Um, I would expect a quick move down to the top of this purple zone at 10.87. Uh, somewhere in this 200 and 100 region, which, by the way, your 100 is trying to cross your 200. Um, and on for the bearish case, that would mean that the MACD comes back down crosses that signal line, starts printing dark red bars on the histogram as your RSI crosses the neutral median line. So watch the RSI, watch which way that momentum's coming when we either break this diagonal trend line or this horizontal trend line. That's going to, I mean, this is pretty clear cut too. Uh, easy trade, easy trade. And let's see here. There's one other thing I wanted to talk about. And I can't remember what it was. Well, yeah, I guess not. Uh, so yeah, your 100 is trying to cross your 200, which if you can break this top of the uh, ascending triangle, that's probably going to make it cross. So then your moving averages, if they start to fan out, I think you can go up here pretty quick. Honestly, maybe even get up to the 1400 like we've been talking about. But we'll find out because, I mean, first of all, we need to get back above here. But if we break this, if we break 1270, I do think we have the potential to go to 1400. So that's huge. 
Um, all right, let's move on to Solana. So Solana, uh, not not the same story, but similar. Your 100 is trying to cross your 200 right now. So if that can happen and they can fan out, I think you get up here to the red zone at $40 like we've been talking about. Um, RSI, testing the bottom of the bullish control zone. Got your retest front run of the signal line, resumption up. MACD, pretty fresh cross to the upside. I like that this crossed the zero line at the same time as crossing the signal line. Uh, that's always a good sign right there. Um, like either get a retest or a retest of the zero line and across or a cross and across. Very bullish sign. Uh, strong upside curvature, dark green bars on the histogram starting to pick back up. Uh, BBWP is pointed straight, pointed straight up, working its way to the moving average, working its way to the upper zone. So your vol is turning around um, after that brief period of consolidation corrective move, which we did get held up by the 50. Bullish case is that we get back above basically the wick high of this candle. On a closure, though, we need a closure above 36.75. Need a closure above 36.75. We need to get in the bullish control zone. MACD needs to continue what it's doing. It just needs to continue what it's doing. Uh, maybe get an even stronger upside curvature. That would help as your volatility uh, continues to the upside, as your BBWP would get into the upper zone. Let's see, uh, bearish case is that you break the 50 in this last low at basically 34.90. You break the 50, yeah, I think you would find major support right here, major support at the 100, 200, and diagonal trend line. So we, we, wouldn't, be, uh, we wouldn't be dead just yet if we did break the 50. But honestly, if we break 34, you know, 3415 that's going to pick up quick. I mean, I think you'd get a bounce at 3265, but honestly, I think you'd come all the way back down to the lows at $31. So, and that would also imply that we get rejected from the bottom of the bullish control zone and cross back below the signal line. If we don't cross back below the signal line, we still have a shot. That would also imply that the MACD line crosses the signal line as well, and this positive momentum goes all the way to zero on the histogram. So let's go back to Bitcoin. I mean, right now, I'm a little more bullish than bearish, to be honest. Um, we still kind of have a range. I mean, I mean, it's kind of like a huge range, you know. I'm actually going to, no, I'm going to leave that for now. But like we were talking about, if we broke back into that range, we could get up to this midline. We did got rejected directly from it. So if you watched the video from yesterday, you were ahead of this move, 100%. Came back down, tested the bottom of the range. And uh, and uh, we're going to see what happens next. But I'm more bullish than bearish. I do think we're going to break this last high. Um, we could get a minor rejection here from here, even come back down to the 50 at 19,800. But as long as we don't break... This uh, 200, we're in good shape. 19,700 is what I, that's the line in the sand for me. I would expect some support at 19,500. We could even get a wick down to 19,500 though, and still be in good shape. We have to make a closure above 19,700. So watch that level. Uh, once again, if you guys like this video, like and subscribe to the channel. Everyone have a great morning, great afternoon, great evening, and I will see you tomorrow.